This is the ANC trying to save itself yes. from yes. hemorrhaging leadership. Ramaphosa didn't win. This is a draw. Uh, yes. If you look at the, what, we, what in South Africa we call the top six of the ANC, we have uh, uh, Ramaphosa, the president, then you have Mr. Mabuza, hitherto aligned with Zuma. Mr. Makashule, hitherto aligned with Zuma. Ms. Duarte, hitherto aligned with Zuma. Then aligned with Ramaphosa, you have uh, Mr. Mashatile. And um, so those, it's a draw. So this was a compromise, which actually might not be a bad thing for the ANC because the AN, for, and for the developmental uh, project in South Africa, because the ANC will know it requires uh, other political parties' cooperation to get things done. But we cannot underestimate, of course, that this is a good for the mood of the country. Uh, South yes, Africans deserve yes, to be happy. Yes, yes, and so yes. they're very happy. But the yes. substance, and yes. I'm going to agree with your viewer who saw that, yes, Ramaphosa has always been there. Um, and yes, this is the ANC trying to save itself from the EFF, which is coming. If you yes. look at the EFF, it is what they call the seven cardinal pillars. Most or, or, or of the speech, of, of the things that uh, Ramaphosa um, talked about in his State of the Nation speech, are actually lifted from the economic freedom fighters' yes. uh, cardinal pillars. Most among them is the uh, uh, appropriation of land without compensation. You would have never had Tabombegi talk like that. I expect there to be a fight for their votes, uh, for their populist votes. And uh, the professor said something that I wanted to quickly uh, look at. You know, the ANC pushing out first Mr. Mbeki and now Mr. Zuma, many people are looking at it as a bad thing. I actually see it as a pretty good thing. Not perfect, but a pretty good thing. Because show me any other country in Africa where the ruling party has power over the president. So if the president is going awry, the ruling party can recall him. Everywhere else, the presidents dictate to their parties and the parties do what they want. And it's not just in Africa. And I think it's a good thing with the ANC that has strong internal uh, democracy to say, this president may be going in a place that is not good for us. We may, he's made enemies among us. He's making enemies in public. He may cause us the election. I think it's a very good thing that the party will get together, have discussions, and say, you know, you need to move on so somebody better can step in. It, it but is this, uh, uh, is, is this uh, the Republic of South Africa the constitution uh, where the state is subordinate to the party, or is it the ANC constitution? I think it is the ANC constitution, but at the same time, especially now that you have competing parties, if the ANC's internal um, democracy uh, makes them unfit in the eyes of the voters, they will lose. I happen to think it is a good thing. I am very leery of uh, parties dominated by single individuals who fund it or who once they become president, it's like we'll do whatever we want. I have to, I will repeat, I admire the ANC's internal democracy where they can fire a president.